Eagle Nation, it's your elementary principal back with another episode of Walking the Halls with the Principal. Today we're going to interview Mr. Tanner Havens, our Phi Ed teacher. He's new to us as a Phi Ed teacher this year, but he's not new to Weston. Let's find out where Mr. Havens is. I can hear Mr. Havens. Oh my gosh, look at this. Mr. Havens is jumping rope. Oh, he's pretty good at this too. Hey, Mr. Havens. How you doing? Hey, sorry to interrupt you jumping rope today, it's but good. would you like to walk the halls of the principal today? Absolutely. Awesome. All right. Well, let's let's give it a try. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful. Good. You're pretty good at that. Oh, well, I'm not too bad at it. I enjoy doing it. How did you uh, How did you get into jumping rope? Uh, really through sports. Uh, my uh, basketball coach through middle school, high school um, was a big component of jumping rope. It's a great cardiovascular workout, uh, plus it improves your footwork and technique, um, strengthens your whole upper lower, lower body. And so pretty much from there, I just picked it up and continued it. Wow, that's a pretty a pretty amazing thing. Um, that's something you and I might have in common, actually. Uh, awesome. I'll have to share that special talent with, with you later, but um, yeah, I was a speed rope jumper back in the day. Dang. Yeah, so. We'll have to have a competition for kids. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> um, very cool. Um, well, well, so welcome to Weston officially. Thank you. Um, I know that you're not brand new to Weston though. So do you want to tell the people out there sort of your journey to come to coming to Weston? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm from Darlington, Wisconsin. Uh, from there, I went to Platteville, uh, UW Platteville. Played basketball there. I was getting my undergrad degree in physical education. Transferred to Clark University in Dubuque, Iowa, where I finished my degree in physical education and played uh, basketball there. I was a two year starter. Uh, then continuing down the coaching path, coaching at various schools in South Dakota, Iowa. Uh, and then I got a head job last year at the University of Wisconsin Platteville Richland, the two-year school in Richland Center. Okay. And was looking for another part-time or another job to offset the cost of living. Sure. And was looking for a substituting job. Talked to Mr. Sifisted. And at that time he's like, Well, we have opening in the science department, if you would like to take that and I thought it was a great opportunity to get in the education world again, as well as be able to coach. And so uh, I took him up on that offer and it was a great experience, great learning experience. And then uh, Mr. Hinker, who we all love, uh, wanted to retire. And like, well, seems like a great transition. So Mr. Sifisad and I talked and uh, transitioned to elementary PE position. Wonderful. And it's kind of a blessing in disguise too, because my wife, Mrs. Havens, uh, for those that may know her, um, she has a degree in biology and Spanish. And so she took over my Spanish department that I was in. And so now we actually get to work together uh, where she was actually living in Iowa when I was living in Wisconsin last year. So it's nice to be together again. Wow, that's a pretty amazing journey. So um, I want to go back to the basketball because yeah. that, that, that's very interesting. So you played basketball. Were you a guard or were you a... I saw in high school I was a uh, post player. Sure. And. Uh, and only at six foot um, on a good day, uh -huh. uh, I knew <laughs> I couldn't play post in college. Okay. So then I had to transition to a guard. Yep. Okay. And I played point guard, shooting guard for the four years of basketball. Fantastic. Um, and and the coaching piece. So you coached at, at UW Richland Center. Are you going to do that? Uh, continue that, or yes. is that fantastic? Yep. Yep. Currently, um, right now, with uh, due to COVID reasons, we have a sure. suspended season. But I'm actively recruiting. I have uh, 13 guys right now on the team that were focusing hard on their studies, yeah. um, stress, stressing how important their academics are, mm -hmm. and to get them academic scholarships to their four-year schools that they want to go to in the future. So most of their their goals, uh, some of the goals for some of the players, is that they can uh, move on to a, a larger yep. university and and get a four-year degree. Some that's, that's the plan. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Um, well, you know, uh, if you've watched any of our episodes of Walking the Halls, you know that I like to play a game called Three Things. Would, yeah. you, would you like to play? Absolutely. All right. So um, you're going to tell me what one person, one place, and one thing. When I say the word Weston, what, what comes to mind? A person, okay. place, and a thing. So person would have to be Mr. Sifisted, uh for the reason that he gave me this opportunity to, to be here at Weston. And pretty much from day one, I fell in love with, um, with the school district and the people here just because they've been, they came in with open arms to me, uh, gave me support to get through um, the, the first year of completely learning experience 
and then allowing my wife, uh, Mrs. Havens, to to join me in that experience as well. So okay. um, couldn't have done it, you know, without without the help and support. And it starts with Mr. Zipstead. Absolutely, yeah. He's he's been instrumental in uh, in my my transition here as well. Yeah. So Good. yeah, that's fantastic. Okay, one one place. Well, place we're walking around right now. I just learned this this year, and being a physical education teacher, I thought it was kind of fitting. Um, we're walking around the elementary room area right now and this used to be the old baseball field for the high school uh -huh. and um, pretty much where my room starts is where the dugouts and home home plate was so Very I think cool. it's kind of funny to think that we're walking yeah. the old baseball field yeah and, and Weston has a very strong baseball tradition they do um, and they've, they've had a lot of success over the years I've learned um, you know it's amazing and uh, so that's that's very cool I didn't realize that that's um, part of our history that this is the old baseball field. Yeah. Oh, very cool. All right, and then, so mm -hmm. a person place and then mm -hmm. a thing. thing would, would be basketball. Um, absolutely love the sport. Um, looking forward to teaching to teaching it to our youth uh, in the future here, whether it's in class or at different basketball camps that I have in the future. Um, I think it's just a great, great sport that you can incorporate individual success, but also team, team and, and cooperative group success too. So. Absolutely. Um, so I always ask, um, and I, I, I learned that uh, another teacher has a, a, a unique talent, and I'm going to ask you the same question. Do you have any, besides jump roping, which <laughs> you could name that for sure, um, any special talents that you want to share with us? Oh, man, any special talents. Or anything, any fun facts? Well, I guess a fun fact is that um, even though I'm, I'm fairly tall, I have a three-inch pin in my hip. Um, I have a, a condition when I was younger called a slip epiphysis, where the growth plate on my hip had a gap. So I have a three inch pin and I'm still able to be as active as I am, wow. even with a permanent pin in my hip. That so that's my like, fun fact is as much as I can get. So. Yeah, well, I, it sounds like a, <laughs> a, a not so fun fact. No, not the time. But, but you're, you're managing okay Absolutely. and things are good. Wow, it's impressive. I, didn't, I, did, I, I did not know that about you. <laughs> um, so thanks for sharing that. Um, all right, we like to end our videos with, uh, I like to say, soar, eagle, soar. Eagle pride. pride.